I got to the present. Yes, what do you think we got? I hope your mom sent more cookies. Oh wait, it's for the guy across the street. Ah, oh, piss! Come on, let's just throw it on the ground. And let's just bring it over to him. You can go if you want, but I'm not coming. Oh, come on. I'd want him to bring his eyes because I dropped off at his doorstep. Fine. Let's bring it over to him, yes? Can you be helped? Oh uh, yeah, we, we got your mail. It was left on our doorstep. We wanted to bring it over to you. Sorry we opened it. We thought it was ours. You opened my mail? Well, you know what? This isn't even mine. This is my roommate's. Let's see. Oh, you should meet the guy. You'll like him. Oh, hold on a second. Hey, they found your package. Yo, these guys a beer. Oh, hello. I didn't see you come in. My name's Seth Shaw, your new Backyard Effects host. And what you just saw was my test film for my new creation, my tentacles and my tentacle monster. Building them was no easy task, but if you follow my steps, you can have your own creation for your own movies. So stay tuned. In the next few minutes, you might just learn something really useful. Now, if you'll excuse me, Daddy's got to go put the kids to sleep. roll of furniture foam for ten dollars, a five dollar roll of one half inch furniture foam, steel wire which you can get a roll of for four dollars, extra large pantyhose for two dollars and fifty cents, one inch diameter PVC tubing for two dollars and sixty cents, five minute and E6000 epoxy both three dollars a piece, and finally, one jar of latex for $20. Start by cutting two holes in your PVC tubing. Next, thread the steel wire through the bottom hole and wind it around the body of the tube. Measure out about three feet and then double up on the wire so that it can maintain some weight. Finish it off by threading the wire back through the top hole. Now mix up some 5 minute epoxy and secure it to the body of the tube. Take some extra PVC and wind the wire around it like a spring. This will help you glue the foam to it later. Now take your sheet of inch thick foam and start cutting yourself some 6.5 inch strips. Using your E6000 epoxy, secure it to the middle of the tube diagonally. Now you're going to start winding the foam around in a corkscrew pattern, securing it with epoxy as you go. Glue the end together and then trim it down with some scissors so it looks more like a tentacle. Add more foam to make it look more segmented and bumpy. For the suckers, roll your half-inch foam into a tube. Then cut them out in little discs, like so. 
Now start affixing them onto the tentacles, about rows of two. Next, take your pair of pantyhose and cut it in half. Using the spray adhesive, start gluing it and pulling it down the base of the tentacle. Be careful not to rip off any suckers along the way. The nylon will protect the foam from having the latex seep into it and be completely rubberizing it, making it inflexible. When you're finished, cut open the suckers. For the paint app, I took a light green, a dark green, a white, and a yellow and mixed them together with the latex. Then I added a layer of yellow to the suckers. About two coats should be sufficient. Next, I hit the rest of the tentacle with a layer of the dark green. Remember, the latex and paint will dry darker than when first applied. Now, lightly brush on a layer of the light green. Don't cover it completely. This is just for highlight and definition. I mixed up a little brown and added some spots as well. With the shopping list I gave you, you should have enough materials for two, but for my purposes, I need to build four. Now on to the tentacle monster. Start with a whole lot of clay. Plaster of Paris at five bucks a bucket. And latex at twenty dollars a jar. I started by sculpting my monster first. I left the tentacles separate because I'd be casting them separately. Next, using some scrap foam core, I built up a box around my monster's head. Make sure you seal everything with hot glue, otherwise it will leak. Now mix two parts plaster for one part water. Mix thoroughly to make sure there are no lumps or bubbles. Pour enough plaster so only half of your monster is covered. Watch out for any leaks along the way. Once it dries, drill some keys so the two mold halves lock together. Now coat everything with a layer of Vaseline. This is so the second half of your mold doesn't just adhere to the first. Now mix up another batch of plaster and pour it on top, once again watching out for leaks. Now sculpt about seven tentacles, about the size of fingers. Build another foam core box and submerge them in a one-piece mold this time. Meanwhile, your head mold should be just about done by now, so pop it open and start digging out all the clay. Make sure you're thorough or you'll lose all the detail in your final product. Mix up another batch of green latex and brush it onto each half of the mold. Put the two mold halves together and let it dry, then pour in another layer. Make sure you coat everything. Clean the clay out of your tentacle mold and put some latex in that too. Put another two layers of unpigmented latex to reinforce the first two. Once it dries, you're ready to carefully demold your Gulu Mythos. Before painting, trim off any excess rubber from the puppet. Start by painting the mini tentacle suckers yellow. Now lightly brush on a layer of light green, once again just for highlighting and definition. Do the same for the mini tentacles as well. Finally, get the mouth and the area around the eyes with a dark maroon color. And lastly, for the eyes, I spray painted an old ping pong ball yellow and trimmed it down. Pop the tentacles on your fingers and you have your own Thulu Mythos Beast. Alright everybody, thanks and I'll see you next week.